YouTube, how are we doing, guys? If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Just put the bell on. Notifications. Come on, bro. Guys, if you notice I'm wearing the same thing in like a lot of videos, I'm recording all these videos on Wednesday because I'm going on vacation to visit my family for Thanksgiving. So I have to do this all in one day. I may or may not have been sitting here for hours, but it is what it is. Guys, today we are predicting the NFL games. And I know nobody knows this because no one really watched this video. But the last time I did this, I predicted every single game correctly. Every single game, the whole week. So these are very, you know, I'm not going to say these are like 100 percenters. But I mean, maybe go to the casino and bet on all this because these are the facts of what is going to happen. All right. You got that? All right. Now that that's out of the way, guys. Bears versus Lions. We're starting it out easy, you know. Bears, bro. The Lions ain't winning the game. This is the Lions are one of the most terrible teams I've ever watched. That I don't know if anybody watched the Lions uh Lions Steelers game. That was terrible. That was awful. I don't think they're gonna win a game. If they do, the Bears would probably give them a win, though. <laughs> Honestly, but no. I Bears 100 percent Next we got Cowboys versus Raiders. I think y'all know where I'm going with this. Um, we looked shaky last week, but I'm gonna have to go Cowboys here just for the sheer fact that, you know, I think we, when we can be, we're the best team in the NFL. When we are willing to show up and not be play like we're the worst team in the NFL, we're the best. So obviously I'm gonna go Cowboys here, but you know, we always like to choke on Thanksgiving. So who knows? Bills at Saints. Now, this is an interesting one, but honestly, not really. I'm going to go Bills because the Saints, they got, who's the dude, the quarterback that used to play for the Broncos? I forgot what his name is, but he's awful. There, this shouldn't be a close game. It should be Bills all the way by a lot. Next, we got Steelers and Bengals. Um, I think, you know, despite the Steelers being kind of terrible this year and they just lost TJ Watt, which is so huge. I can't even explain to you how huge that is. Um, they always give the Bengals good games, so I won't be surprised if this is a close game, but I'm definitely going to say Bengals. Joe Burrow's been playing great lately, and I believe in the, the Bengals, you know, that Jamar Chase Joe Burrow connection is very different. I, you know, I like it. Next, we got Panthers Dolphins. Now, Cam Newton, you know, he's he's balling out there for the Panthers. It's almost like we're in a dream, right? It seems like we're in a simulation when I see Cam Newton out there on the Panthers uniform. I'm like, I'm like, what the, what is going on? Like, we have to be living in the simulation, right? But guys, I'm gonna take Panthers here. Yeah, Dolphins are terrible. They're really bad. They're really, really bad. I mean, I don't think it matters that they got Tua, they got anybody. They're terrible. I, so I'm gonna go Panthers there. Eagles, Giants. Now this is one of those games where you're just like, who cares? But I care because I'm in the NFC, so you know, I, I care about these things. I'm going to say Eagles. Eagles have been playing genuinely pretty good. Jalen Hurts has been playing like, let me crack on that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that felt good. All right. Jalen Hurts, he's been playing great. Like he, Jalen Hurts has been playing, he's flying under the radar. Winning games, but he's been playing good. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say great, but he's been playing good. You know, good enough to get wins. Now, good enough against wins against the Giants? Yeah. And the Giants just fired Jason Garrett. So maybe they come out doing this crazy stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if the Giants won this, but I'm going to go Eagles. Next, Patriots, Titans. Now, Titans just, they just lost to the what? The Dolphins, right? They were on a five game winning streak and they just lost to a terrible team. So I don't know how they're going to respond to that. Derrick Henry's out. So I don't believe in Ryan Tannehill. I really don't. Mac Jones has been looking really good. Um, I really like his play style. Like game manager, you know, not trying to make mistakes. You know, just try not to lose the game. He might not win the game for you guys, but he's definitely not going to lose it for you. So I like the Patriots here. Definitely going to have to go Patriots. So next we got Falcons, Jaguars. Now, this is the stinker bowl. Like, this is the stinker bowl. I don't know who's going to win this game. And I wouldn't be surprised if either of them didn't win the game. I was right this was Jaguar this time. 
maybe find it. Or... I'm gonna definitely go Falcons here, though. I don't know. I feel like the Falcons. I don't know. They got something. They got Calvin Ridley. You know, their defense is. I mean, their defense is bad. Like, I don't know. Maybe Jaguars. Mm, I'm gonna trust my gut. I'm gonna trust my gut, and I'm gonna say Falcons. Next, we got Buccaneers at Colts. Um, you know, I'm about to say Bucks. Here. Definitely gonna go Bucks, but the Colts run. See, this is gonna be. Uh, this is one of the games where I need to watch. 10 a.m. game. Yeah, definitely gotta watch this one because it's interesting. I love matchups like this. The Buccaneers have the best run D. You know, they got that front when the Dama can sue Vita Vea, all those goons. And the Colts only run the ball, and they got the best running game in the league. And that's the matchups I love. I literally love those kind of matchups. But I'm about to say Buccaneers because I don't trust Carson Wentz. I never have, and I never will. He's a stinker. Next, we got another stinker bowl. This is actually maybe more of a stinker bowl than the other one. Jets versus Texans. Um, you know, honestly, who cares, right? You know. Honestly, who gives a flying shit who wins this game? But if I had to put my money on someone, I'd say the Jets. The Jets have, you know, they can be good when they want to. They don't, they, you know, they got Robbie Anderson. They got some guys, but nah. Nah, I'm going to say Jets. Texans are terrible. Can't do it. And by the way, I just remembered the Bills lost to the Texans. It wasn't the Dolphins. Just, just, just popped in my head. Chargers Broncos now I don't know Broncos I, apparently the greatest team in the league when they played us so who knows what could really happen but the Chargers have been a little inconsistent lately but I'm gonna still go Chargers you know I, you know yeah I'm gonna say Chargers Broncos if they show up and just play like the goatiest team ever maybe but that's not gonna happen uh, Vikings Niners now this is one I expect an upset I bet everyone thinks the Niners are gonna win this I think this is the upset this is the upset that I predict here. Vikings. Vikings are starting to turn up. They beat the Packers last week. Finally won a close game. If you guys haven't noticed, all their games have been close. So it's really crazy. But I'm definitely going to say Vikings. Next, this is the game of the week, obviously. Rams versus Packers now. Ah, honestly, I'm going to have to say Rams. You know, I, I think... Yeah, I'm going to have to say Rams. I think the Packers, you know, they've been Rams here, their defense is cracked. I don't know. That's it. Next, Browns, Ravens. Definitely gonna go Ravens here. Browns are gonna be terrible. Baker Mayfield's kinda hurt. They don't got Odell. Jarvis Landry is mad. He's not getting the ball. It's just a disaster over there. It's an absolute, utter disaster over there. So I'm gonna definitely have to go Ravens. Next, for our Monday night game, we kinda got a stinker. Seahawks suck this year. I don't know what's going on with Russell Wilson. He's got problems and he needs to figure it out. You need to figure it out ASAP. I don't know if Future is back with his wife or something. I don't know what's going on, but you know, he needs to get it figured out because Seahawks are going down quick, but you know, they're playing a terrible team. But ta if Taylor Heineke, he's either gonna show up and be a terrible quarterback or he's gonna show up and be the best quarterback. And if he shows up and be what well, we've seen him do a couple times, you know, when he just randomly decides he's the greatest, then he might not be might not for him, but I don't think so. I think Seahawks gonna get back on it right here. Is it too late? Is it too late? Mm, division. So those are my picks, guys. Now, I'm thinking it's gonna be 100%. Just like, go check out my last video when I predicted the games. You can check the date. I, I posted it before the games, and I predicted every single game right. So, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened again. Not to be cocky or anything, but appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We do football everything. I'm gonna start doing vlogs. Bo -bo -bo. We're gonna start. We are gonna start being. Hello, guys. Welcome to the future of multi dimensions. No, guys, I don't know what happened at the end of the video, but something cut out, whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. And y'all are really goaded. I appreciate everything.